Hi, so we've got an MSI 790 Gaming Plus with Wi-Fi. This is a 14th generation version. So we've got the board, it comes with a Wi-Fi antenna, two SATA cables, a couple of spare clips for the M2s, DVD driver and the rest. And there we are. What we have is there's a CPU, goes into there. This socket here supports Intel Core 14th Gen, 13 and 12. Also just premium and gold chips. It supports DDR5 memory up to 7200 megahertz overclocking speed. And then we have the Lightning Gen for NVMe SSD PCI4. Another PCI4. It has space for two more and another slot there for another SSD. So we have one, two, three M2 Thermal Solution SSD NVMe slots. So there's one goes in there, another one can go in there, and two space for two there. Here we have Lightning Fast PCIe 5. So that's where the graphics cards will be going in. Uh, there is some instructions here, quick installation shows you a few bits and pieces like how to put the CPU in about connecting wires there's also a PDF file you can download from MSI website we have connectors for lights water pumps other things there uh, more USB some connectors down here for that um, if you need to know any particular connections, you can just leave comments in here below. Here we have display connectors, HDMI. Oh, this is flash BIOS bit, sorry. Got flash BIOS, display adapter port, HDMI, various USBs, including USB 3, USB 3 Gen 2, which I think is on the type C. It would have been nice to see two type C's on this board, but this particular board hasn't got it. We've got aerials for Wi-Fi. We've also got all the sound connections in and out. <clears throat> what also comes with this, we get some a couple of cables. A CD with all the drivers. But you can download them uh, a European standards manual some screws and that for screwing the board on it does actually come with and then some stickers and it also comes with an antenna for your Wi-Fi Here we have a heavy plated VRM heatsink which covers the top of the MOS chip and helps dissipate the heat. This is an extended heatsink, enlarges the surface of the heat dissipation, helps maintain performance at heavy loads. This here is the chipset heatsink, help reduce noise, dust, capable of keeping a high efficiency. plastic thing off <coughs> now Intel chips they go in <coughs> to that corner
Now I usually put the one closest to the processor should optimal performance as you can see it's got a sticky bit which will sit onto the uh, memory and heat sink out but I don't need that on this one this is actually the same price with or without the heat sink so there's a little twisting here you push it round and you can then see it go over to the the memory card and then you can screw that down okay so installing memory got these little clips on the side you can open them up and then when you push in the memory it will then click up as it pushes down there's only one way you can put these in because the pin is off centered now I don't know if uh, there's a memory configuration on here one two or three and four I'm just going to do that and hope for the best if it doesn't work I'll just move them so we've got the driving the CPU the memory the graphics card well that's going to go in there but that's I'll put that in once it's into the machine Now we've got the power supply, 850 watts, gigabyte, gold. So there's 12 volt and full modular with a smart fan. I like the smart fan bit. This is, they've got a couple of bits from gigabyte. This and the graphics card. We've got a power lead, great. And then we've got some screws loads of cables a whole bunch of them and all the modular connections there and then the main power which is on the outside of the case and that goes to the back in and we screw it up. <laughs> 